Hello, everybody. It is your best friend, Brian Case here. Uh, this video is not going to be very interesting. I mean, for some it could be, but I, I feel like if I'm going to leave the channel for a while, it, it wouldn't hurt to just at least give a clarification as to why. And we're going to be putting on the cowboy hat of condolences, because this is going to be a very sad video. Uh, I don't normally say this, and this doesn't normally happen, but I fucked up. Um, I made a video that was very, very quickly deleted, where uh, I got a job at a certain corporation where it's clearly a joke, and I don't like acknowledging that things are jokes, because breaking an act makes it worse, but I, uh, I had a funny joke, and I did not know all the information about this person that I was calling, and they attended my school. And again, this is my fault. I'm not shifting blame. I, if I had known she went to my school, I probably would not have uh, did what I did. But this is a... Uh, it, it resulted in a lot of unnecessary events that were probably, probably on me. And again, I don't, I, I don't like to backtrack. That's my least favorite thing to do. I still stand by the jokes, but I deleted the video. Unfortunately, they downloaded it, sent it over to school administration, and this is the calm before the storm. Like, I'm lucky I still have my computer right now, because I'm about to get completely fucked. Like, I am so dead. Once my parents figure out, my ass is going to be beaten to a pulp. I'm done. I am so dead. But it's fine, because the uh, Corona Cowboy shall always prevail. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick around. I may come back to the channel later, and, um, you know, I'm an alpha male. I'm ready to take on whatever consequences come my way. This has happened before, and... Not exactly like this, though. Legal action was threatened. They told me to take down the video or they would sue me, which I did. I took down the video, and um, it's, it's down. It's n it's not really taken down because it's still you know on, on everyone's email. And, uh, you know, the thing, the, what really stinks is I can't even explain to you what the joke was because then I'd have to say concerning words on a channel that is somewhat associated with the school that would eventually lead back to me and be seen as incriminating evidence. I don't like being this paranoid. I don't like it. But my, like, the authorities are really, I, all of my weight is on them, and they can just do whatever they want. I can fall flat on my face if they wanted to. And I have to just be careful. Because this is one of those periods of time, and it'll end. Like, this is going to be fine. We're going to, we're going to sort this out. But... I, if, if I were to not be very careful and just to say whatever I wanted on this channel, because this video definitely is going to be seen by so, some who are probably going to be watching to, to make sure I don't say anything that could get me in trouble. Um, including the assholes who threatened legal uh, action against me, which, by the way, if you're watching this, it's not illegal for me to say, fuck you, go fuck yourself. Because getting extremely sensitive and petty over a damn joke threatening legal action, bringing it to the authorities. Not cool, man. Not cool. But whatever. That's your thing. You did it. I gotta work with it now like I've done a million times before. You think I? Ha you think this is my first rodeo, guys? I've done this so many times before that at this point, I may as well be considered a, a goddamn Vietnam veteran. What is this thing? Get this out of here. I may as well be considered a Vietnam veteran of, ge of getting... getting threatened to take down videos, and this is the first time I've decided to do so because, for one, it wasn't that funny of a video, and also because I also think that, uh, that it, the, the entertainment value gained, an unedited video where I just spend eight minutes just calling someone and acting dumb, like that, that, if it was like hyper-edited and I put a bunch of work into it, fair enough, I, I would, I would want to fight for it, but honestly, the video, it's not really worth a bunch of bunch of drama over so I say we just lay this video to rest we can give it our condolences we can tip our hats uh, for this video that almost no one saw but enough people saw to make it a problem and uh, I suppose that's why I don't know how long who knows I may return next day at this point things are so unpredictable that anything could happen I could come back and everything would be perfectly fine. Nothing happened and this was all for nothing, or I could get completely fucked and never be, you know, upload on this video ever again, or on this channel ever again. Anything could happen. We're spinning the wheel of life. What color will it land on? We may never know. 
So, I mean, I suppose that's that. I feel like there's more to say, but because the situation's so complicated, it gives me an illusion of thinking that there's more to say, but I've pretty much explained everything that needs to be explained. So that's that. That's why I probably won't be here. I want to clarify. Um, if I had known every single aspect of the situation that I did, I probably, in fact, I most definitely would not have carried forth with this super funny epic joke that I did. Um, I probably would not have done it. So, uh, I, I did not do this out of uh, malicious intent. I didn't do this with the intent to uh, harm anyone or to expose anyone. I'm just a moron. So, now you know. Now you know all the information. But still, I hate you, and you can go eat a dick. Because you guys, you guys just find the worst ways to deal with your problems by just getting your mommy and your daddy to, to threaten legal action on me. So, fuck you for that. But, you know, I, I just wanted to clarify. We'll be here, and I'm just repeating myself at this point. Goodbye forever.